The communications journals have seen amazing growth in the first two years since they launched. Each journal covers the full breadth of its discipline, including any interdisciplinary research topics. So we're constantly looking for new communities that we feel that we can add something positive to. What we're hoping to achieve with the communications journals is to provide a venue for open access research that applies across a very broad range of scientific disciplines. To engage with the global scientific community, it is important to have editors based in different locations and to recruit editorial board members globally. It's important that each paper is novel, all the conclusions are rigorously supported by the data and that the paper is likely to be of interest to other specialists working on that topic. So our aim is to get first decisions back to authors within seven days and for those papers that are peer reviewed we aim to get those peer review reports back to authors within 45 days. So the communications journals are part of the Nature Research family. This means that if a paper is rejected from one journal, it's very simple to transfer the manuscript files and all the data with that to another journal without necessitating reformatting the file itself. Championing early career researchers is part of our mission to be inclusive of researchers of all career stages throughout the publication process. So we use a collaborative editorial model whereby the in-house editors work closely with our editorial board members. We feel this model offers the best of both worlds because our in-house editors are professional editors and the editorial board members provide technical expertise in their respective sub-disciplines. The way we select editorial board members is a combination of researchers applying to join the board and the in-house team selecting suitable candidates based on their research expertise and geographical location.